And Kim Strong is on uh, is line online too. Good morning, Kim. How are you? Good morning. How are you, Bill? Would you throw out the first pitch? I mean, if you were president oh, of the United States. Oh no, I would can't hit the broad side of a barn. Uh, and and it's really not about that because they they don't even bring them out onto the field. You know, they they oh, usually no. throw it right from the from the box seats. And, and oh the, well, then yeah, I would do that. And the catcher, <laughs> the catcher could get really, really close. It'd be like you know, just toss it to me. Just give it a <clears throat> you know, a little toss. And a, a, you know, well, it might not be worth trying. But he says he's not going to do it. All right. Um, okay. On a serious note, you had to be just uh, livid over what we're now learning and believe is a um, oh one more line. I got to do one more for Michael if I could. Nixon's throw came out crooked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is funny <clears throat> and can carter didn't want to throw it because his would have dropped like a peanut and that's it would have. Yeah, sorry that, sorry mike you had you had the line uh all right kim strong um so this guy uh, says that he's pulling off a prank and uh, and he says he is cooking dog for dinner and it is a skinned animal. It looked like it had been. What they'll do for that is they boil the uh, the the body, and then the hair comes out. And then they, you know, then he was grilling it. I uh, said he was doing a dog. Come to find out, he's now saying it was a it was a lamb, and that this is something that is accepted and not necessarily. I don't know. Is is, is eating a dog if it's customary in your family is that illegal? Um, you know what? There was a big thing a year or two is. ago about trying to make dog food le- or dogs legal yeah. in certain states mm-hmm. um, for uh, one of the cultures, and I don't even know which one. Well, there are, um, yeah, right. We know. I don't know if it passed or not. In some, I don't some parts, it did. some parts of the world, uh, it is customary to eat it. I knew in a China, girl- yeah, it's yeah. absolutely a huge thing in China. Yeah. I knew a girl in South Korea. She told me, indeed, that they yeah. do. It's a delicacy. It's just, but and we're really weird about it. Very similar to the way uh, maybe a Hindu person would be very, very sensitive to cows. Yeah. Um, so okay, so uh, on this story, so. A lot of people said, "No, that is not a lamb. That is a dog." Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, I think I think they've proven that it was a lamb. I'm not sure if they've proven that yet. Um, I ended up talking to the kid's mother. Mm-hmm. How old um, is How old is this kid, by the way? Like 21, 22. Okay. All right. He's a kid. He's looking for his 15 minutes of fame, and he got it. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was a scare tactic. It was a, I'm going to tick people off. Um, if you scroll through his Facebook page, he likes to tick people off. Mm-hmm. I just don't think he expected it to blow up quite as much as it did. Yeah, but I mean, people were going... social media, I mean, yeah. for my small group alone, with Laney, I mean, it's not hard to reach a couple hundred thousand people in a couple hours. Yeah, and nationwide, too. I mean, he... Oh, um, yeah, it went, yeah, it went crazy. But again, we're all connected with the social media. Yeah. So, you know, one group, yeah, I've got, you know, we've got 6,500 members, but then... When a couple of those people share to groups with 37, 47, 57,000 members, yeah, it goes it goes bad quick. And he's he was looking for his you know his fifteen minutes. He got snotty, he got arrogant about it, and he was like you know he was going to kick off all these uh, busybodies, and right, right, people who care more about dogs than they care about the. Was well, that is the uh, we're gonna, missing uh, in DC? He, he is coming on the air. We're going to talk to him this morning. <laughs> Um, and I, I do, I am interested because I, I do remember when, boy, years ago when I sent out the April Fool's, April's coming, uh, April Fool's, uh, thing with, uh, with Hannah saying Hannah had resigned. I remember having them pull me and I remember everybody's just running with this. They're criticizing, they're yelling at me, the, uh, the city, co- uh, the, the, uh, the attorneys at the, at the city, uh, were saying they were going to sue me over it and I could be arrested and all of these uh, things. And they sat me down and they said, you realize Everybody's talking about this, and that's got to be really bad for your career. And I said, "No, you don't understand this. Please keep talking because it's awesome for my career." Yeah. And I kind of well, wonder. Again, you if, you had a purpose for doing it. There was a purpose. Bad publicity. And I'm wondering if if uh, I mean certainly uh, that wasn't the the prank wasn't that I was I was cooking a dog, um, but at the end of the day, I wonder what this kid's answer is going to be. Is he going to say, "Well, you know, I got exactly what I want. This thing was." It went viral. Hundreds of thousands of people saw it, and and you know, you know I wonder. I, 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 he was saying he was a joke. And again, if you look at his Facebook, it's all about I hate this one, I hate that one. He's a typical angry kid. 
Yeah, all right. looking for his. You know, whether he's angry or not, he's the typical acting out angry kid. Okay, so you think <laughs> that you believe that he's angry? No, I believe he's acting angry. Acting angry. Okay. You know, when you're looking at the, his dogs from previous videos on his page, he had big, fat, white, happy pit bulls. Yeah. I don't think the kid's not an animal lover. I think he's just a stupid kid. Yeah. Okay. You know, and it got way out of control, and people were angry. But the problem with people getting angry is it's difficult to control them. Right, because technically he didn't, uh, if it wasn't a dog, he didn't break the law. He was doing a cooking no. show on how to cook a lamb, I'm afraid. But you know? when you start kicking off a whole mess of animal people, yeah. And, and granted, you know, with Laney, we don't do, you know, we're not the activists that are going to throw blood on people and do all these right, crazy right. things that they do, but there are a lot of those type of people out there. Yeah. Quick, quickly, I want to ask you, um, do you, uh, it is kind of funny when, and we were, Manaski and I were just talking about this, it's kind of funny how we are, because you look at this carcass lying there on this, uh, on this stovetop, this grill, and, you know, it looks, you know, there's no hair on it. It looks scrawny and, it, it, you know, it looks inhumane. And we're like, no, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. It's just a lamb. And everybody's like, oh, my God, I thought it was a dog. Okay, fine, if it's a lamb. It's kind of funny how we are, isn't it? Oh, it, we're all complete hypocrites. We're yeah. all complete, complete hypocrites. Right. We eat meat. I eat meat. My dogs eat meat. You know what right. I mean? Right. I, you know, I, th there is a big thing as far as, whether factory farming or, you know, cruel and inhumane treatment of animals during farming is a different story for some people than the, you know. Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, the, I think the farm that, animals that yeah. live a decent life and have one bad day. Right. Because you know what? We all have one bad day. Yeah. All right. Uh, interesting. <laughs> so um, you guys are, are okay with the fact that this kid just made a stupid, in your eyes, made a stupid mistake? Well, I mean, there's just not a lot that can be done about right, it. Right. I think that, you know. He wasted a lot of people's time. He wasted a lot of people's energy. And for that, you know, there needs to be some admonishment. Now you know he's going to be on some kind of watch list somewhere by somebody. So right. for a young male in the city of Utica, I don't know if that was a real smart move. Well, I the don't know that employers the, are going to think it was such a cool thing to do. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's something you to think about, too. Like, if you're, if you're looking to hire somebody and this all of a sudden pops up, ah, uh, we have a video here of you cooking a dog. Uh, that probably won't help him get a job. Or an apartment, yeah. or get into a school, or right, anything. Right. You know what I mean? You're, it's a social anarchy thing. Yeah. Okay, you All made right. your point. You, you got your five minutes of fame. Good, good for you. Well, we're, we're going to... What are the consequences? We're going to give him about five and a half minutes, because he'll be on this morning at 7.35. So well, let's good. See what, then he's, he's up he's, to 20 minutes of fame. That's a good up thing. To, up to 15. <laughs> you know, I, you... you gave the example of the Hannah thing and I would say this actually probably parallels more with the the baby car seat. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Ah my Is history. My nothing. It's just stuff in my past. This is that was the old days. Not today, Kim. Oh, Bill, I know about all your old days. Yeah. I learned a lot uh, from you in those days. <laughs> yes. Uh, you have a wonderful day, Kim Strong. Thank you for taking you the, too. taking the time. All right. Uh, bye bye. Kim Strong from uh, Laney's Army. Quick break, we'll come back here.